Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. So you just heard what we read in Hebrews, right? It didn't say anything about girlfriend, boyfriend and girlfriend. It said marriage, right? So you know you're currently in sin. You know that, right? What sin are you in? What sin are you in right now? Fornication, right? So you have to marry that woman. Give me uh, Exodus 22, 20, 22, 16. Read that. Exodus chapter 22 and verse 16. Hey, sisters in this car, listen up. Are you married? Y'all not married? Are y'all dealing with men? No, y'all don't have no men. All right? If you are, you're supposed to be married. There is no whoremonging. There is no fornication in the nation of Israel. You know what? That's the reason why you look across the street. That's why you see that. That's why we're shooting each other down. Because there's no marriage going on in our communities. Right. You got the women raising the men. They raising the monsters. Read that. The book of Exodus 22, verse 16. Right. And if a man entice a maid. Meaning if a man run game on a woman, mack it down. Right? Get in the bedroom. Read. That is not betrothed. She's not engaged to be with another man. Read on. And lie with her. You have sex with her. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. You must promise her you must commit that marriage. You must consecrate that marriage. You must get wedding papers. You understand that? You have to do that. Other than that, what you're doing, you cause a whoredom in the land. Right. Look at the results. Of, look at these brothers on the corner. Look at these sisters on the corner. They are lost in the sauce. We are here to wake them up. A hey, black man over there. You are the Israelites. Yes, wake right. up out of that sleep. Right. You are the gods of the earth. Right. But y'all living like niggas. Right. Y'all are not niggas. Y'all are gods of the earth. Yes, right. It's time to start acting like it. We are here killing each other. Y'all ain't doing nothing about it. Right. That's not honorable. Read it again. And if a man entice a maid. So if you got you a girlfriend, you're supposed to marry her. Right. Read on. That is not betrothed. And lie with her. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. If her father utterly refuse to give her unto him, he shall pay. That's all I want. Go back to Hebrews. Go back to Hebrews 13. Read that. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Yeah. Marriage is honorable in all. So Carl, marriage is honorable for you, bruh. What are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? You don't know what you're waiting on? Give me uh, Acts 3 and 19. Bring it out. You got to repent, bro. That's what we out here to do. You see these brothers right here? We used to be the same way, man. We was whoremongers out on the streets, gangbangers. That's why we could come out here and talk so boldly. Because we made that change. Based off the word of God. The word of God converted us to be who we are today. That's why we could come out here so boldly. And stand stiffly for these laws. Right. You sisters in that caravan right there. Hey, repent and keep God's laws and live. You understand that? Right. Read. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Right. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Repent and be converted. Give me that. Repent and be converted. How you repent? And what, and what converts you? What does that? Is it just I change my mind on my own? I do my own thing? No, you got to keep these laws. Read that. The book of Psalm, chapter 19 and verse 7. Right the law of the Lord is perfect. The laws of God is perfect. You just can't say I love Jesus and that's it. Contrary to what the Christian church says. You have to keep God's laws. Yes. Plus the faith in Jesus Christ. Read, Read on. Converting the soul. See, the laws of God is what perfect which converts you. It's what changes you. That's right. You understand that? Read on. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Making wise the simple. Hey, Joe, come here. Making wise the simple. Go back. So we got to keep God's laws. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Bring it up. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. 
so that your sins may be blotted out. So that for fornication you in, bro, you have to repent, start keeping God's laws, so that your sin could be blotted out. Otherwise, you're going to get judged. You understand that? And that judgment could come what? In disease. Give me that disease in Deuteronomy 28. Uh, give me uh, 60. Yep, give me that. So there's a lot of diseases. You got herpes. You got gonorrhea. You know what I'm saying? You got the blue waffle. You know what I mean? You don't want the blue waffle. You don't want none of it. But in order for you to abstain from attracting some of those STDs, you have to start keeping God's laws. So that you got to marry that sister. You understand? Read on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 59. The Lord will make thy plagues wonderful. A plague is a disease. He's going to make them wonderful. You understand? I Meaning it's going to be so wonderful, but like it's going to be like, damn, what the hell is this? Why is my rod looking like this? Why is it green? Why is it like it's turned inside out? That's wonderful. Read on. And the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, uh -huh. and of long continuance, uh -huh. and sore sickness, uh -huh. and of long countenance. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt. Because when we got into sin, the book of Deuteronomy is a pivotal chapter in the Bible. The book of Deuteronomy 28, from 15 to 68, it tells us who we are according to the Bible. That's our DNA kit. Because we lost who we are. You know what I'm saying? You told me your last name was, what, what was it again? A curse name. It was a, it was a Gentile, your slave master's name. What's your nationality? But when you fill out an application, you say African American or something, right? So we lost who we are. And that's what Deuteronomy 28 tells us what will happen. But it also tells us if we stay in sin, we was going to, what, get diseases as well. That's what we read right now. So pay attention, bro. Which thou was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. These sicknesses and these diseases are going to cleave onto you. Why? Because you don't want to repent. Right. Read on. Also, every sickness. Every sickness. And every plague. And every plague. Some of these sicknesses could be high blood pressure, diabetes, gout. You understand that? Heart disease. A lot of our, hey, some of these elders that's out here, they got a, hey, they got a, a medicine cabinet full of uh, prescription drugs from their slave master. Jeez. All because they don't want to keep God's laws. They can change all of that if they keep God's laws. Some of these men out here selling loose squares. Some of these cigarettes are not even real cigarettes. Some of these cigarettes got cow manure in it. Got a bomb fluid in it. And you get cancer. How can you do God's will if you're sick? How can you be a warrior, a man of God, if you out here sick? Teach. So you men have to wake up. Read on. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Hey, bro, in this car right here, you married to her? Are you married to her? Hey, bro, marry her. If you're not married, marry her. You understand that? That's Fornication right. is a sin. That's the reason why we out here killing each other, because of single family households. These women raising these young men, they being monsters, shooting us down on the streets. In order for you to stop that, one thing you can do is marry her. You understand right. that? And raise them kids together. Be right. a man, not a boy. You understand that, bro? Right. Hey, you get a flyer, give us a call. You understand? Come build with us. We used to be just like you, bro, so I can speak boldly just like that. You understand? Read on. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Until you be destroyed. That's why there's STDs in the neighborhood. Because men go off from women and women, women go off from men and men, trying to be Cardi B and Megan Estalia, whatever the hell her name is, yeah. sending these women off. And these men talk about uh, women ain't nothing but hoes and tricks. No, they princesses. They are the daughters of Sarah. That's You're right. supposed to respect these women. Jeez. And you women respect these men. You understand? You ain't running nothing in no household. Right. You fall in line and keep these laws. And stop showing your... Hey, sister, come here. Come here for a minute. Come here. Let me holler at you. Sister, right here, before you go across the street, let me show you who you are according to the Bible. Hey, sis. Hey, don't go across the street without hearing this. Matter of fact, give me First Timothy. Let me show you how you're supposed to dress as a daughter of God. Right. Because the daughters of God are supposed to can't cover their bodies up. That's They're not right. supposed to be showing their bodies up all over the place so men can lust after them. Right. You understand that? Read it. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Yeah. Listen up, sis, because you are more precious than that outfit you got on. Right. Read. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. You hear that? Hey, sister, right here. 
Hey, if that was your daughter, would you allow her to dress like that? You wouldn't dress like that. So why are not these other women telling these young sisters not to dress like that? Why are these men allowing these sisters to dress like that? Because it's sin. Y'all right. brothers are out of order. And that's why we're on this street corner right now, to bring forth order. Right. Read it again. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. In modest apparel. That means cover up, sis. Right. You should be showing your butt cheeks to everybody. Cheeks. Yeah. Respect yourself, sister. Yeah. Yeah. You are a princess of the Most High God. That's right. You are precious jewels of God. Right. You understand that? How you expect to get a husband if you're out here prostituting yourself? Matter of fact, give me that. Give me Leviticus 19, 29. You brothers out here with these daughters out here dressed like that, with these mini skirts, with these tight jeans on, showing off your curves. A lot of you brothers is cool with that. Read that. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29. You two brothers over there drinking that beer with that 40 ounce. Y'all brothers should be ashamed of yourselves. You have failed the black community. Wake up out of this sleep. You should be over here teaching your people. But a brother that's, your, that's the same age as your son is doing it. Where you gonna stand up? Read. Do not prostitute thy daughters. Don't prostitute your daughters, you man. Black men, you so-called Israelites. You so-called black men. You are the Jews of God. You are the gods of the earth. Do not prostitute your daughters. Meaning don't let them come out here looking like a prostitute. Don't let them wear booty shorts. Don't let them wear leggings. Showing off their panties. Yeah. Showing their camel toe. Showing their cleavage. We don't. To cause her to be a whore. Because now what? Now she has the image of a whore. What? She gonna act it out now. Right. And you brothers like looking at that. You women, cover your bodies up. Show some self-respect. How do you expect for anybody to take you serious if you walk around here dressed like a prostitute? Right. I'm getting on you men and you women. Bring it up. You so-called black men, wake up. Pull your pants up. Why you got your pants sagging? We warriors. Read on. Let the land fall to whoredom. And let the land fall to whoredom. Now you got Cardi B's and Mega Th Th Stallion, whatever the hell her name is, making songs, making a thought anthem. Everywhere I go, I see sisters playing, blasting this music, dancing to it. What the hell is going on with us? We you women go wake up and start raising these women to be women. Y'all allow these women to walk around with their booty shorts on. Read out. What the hell Cardi B got to do with you? Teacher. We you gonna stand up and be women. Right. And men, we you gonna stand up and be men out here. That's right. You know what? I'm gonna talk about something that's that's highly controversial. Some of you women that had abortions. That's a sin according to the Bible. That's Read right. it out. Some of y'all that had abortions out here. That's sin according to the Bible. Give me that uh, Leviticus. I want Leviticus 18.21. I'm going to start there, then I'm going to go to Wisdom of Solomon. Leviticus 18.21. Read that. Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 21. And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire. To read. The reason why I said don't let any of your seed pass through the fire is because of the days of old. When you had a baby, you sacrificed that baby. I was old in the fire to a god called Molech. That was, that was at that time abortions. Now what you have, you have Planned Parenthood popped up on our corners all across the neighborhoods. Planned Parenthood, read on. Pass through the fire to Molech. Neither shalt thou profane the name of the Lord. Uh -huh. I am the Lord. Uh -huh. it on Give me wisdom of South. So we have to come back to God's knowledge. His knowledge is these laws. You understand? You got to repent, bro. You understand? You got to fly it. Give us a call. Don't go nowhere. Keep building with us, though. Because you're going to learn a lot today. There's no abortion. There's no fornication going on in our neighborhood. The men have to be men. We have to raise each other as such. The women can't dress like harlots. You understand that? Read it. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, verse 4. Read it. Whom thou hatest for doing most odorous works of witchcraft and wicked sacrifices, and also those merciless murderers of children. Merciless murders of children. We have to stop aborting our children. You understand that? 
So you so-called black men and black women, repent, keep God's laws in the faith of Christ. I used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>